Finding mass and volume of matter. We just learned that matter is anything that has mass and volume. And we learned previously that mass is the amount of matter in an object. So how do you measure the mass of an object? You can use a triple beam balance or an electronic balance. In using a triple beam balance, there's some things you have to do before you can mass the object. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that this uh, zero adjust knob is calibrated properly. If you move the balance, the, ba the movable mass is all the way to the left, and then turn this until this balance beam here is directly on the balance mark. When that happens, then you are ready to put the object on the balance pan. Uh, for actually finding the mass, first you move the 100 gram mass, then the 50 gram mass, and last you slide the 10 gram mass into place and you can read the, um, the mass of the object on the pan from these three masses. Using electronic balance is easier. You simply begin by turning, by turning the uh, balance on with the on switch. Make sure it says grams right there. Place the end comes to zero. You place the object on the balance pan and read the mass of the item. Finding volume. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. In this, uh, in this uh, picture here, you see that we have a bowling ball and a tennis ball. The bowling ball is bigger than the tennis ball. The bowling ball takes up more space than the tennis ball. So the bowling ball has more volume than the tennis ball has. Finding volume of a four-sided object. You will need a ruler to do this activity, and you may have done it before, but we'll go over it again anyway. To use the ruler, you must find the uh, length, the width, and the height of the object, and then use the following equation. Volume equals length times width times height. In this uh, diagram here, the height of the block is 2 centimeters, the length is 10 centimeters, and the width is, 10, is 2 centimeters. So we um, use the, vo the equation, volume equals the length times the height of 2 centimeters times the width, and you will come up with 40 cubic centimeters. Now this 3 here tells you that you multiplied centimeters 3 times. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, the 3 goes right there. You can also find a volume of an object using um, displacement. This is when the object is irregularly shaped <clears throat> or difficult to find the volume of with an equation. Here we have uh, a graduated cylinder. Graduated cylinders are perfect to use because they are, are more accurate than beakers or flasks. They're, uh, they're graduated um, more precisely so that you can get a better reading. First you place water into the graduated cylinder. In this diagram here, they put 30 milliliters of water into the graduated cylinder. Then they carefully slid the object into the graduated cylinder. Do not drop the object because when you do, you splatter water out and you will not get an accurate reading. Uh, after the object is in the graduated cylinder, you read the new volume. Here the new volume is 40 milliliters. In order to find the volume of the object itself, you simply have to subtract the initial volume from the new volume to find the volume of the object. So here we took the 40 milliliters, which is the new volume. We subtract the initial volume, which was the 30 milliliters, and our answer for the volume of this rock is 10 milliliters. Cool. That's it.